Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Sister Samaya, thank you for joining us. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Share this live, inshallah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alayhi wala. If I'm saying your name wrong, please forgive me. Mashallah. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. I can almost guarantee you saying her name wrong. <laughs> Salaam alaikum. Uh, Khalil, thanks for joining us. There's some other folks in here. Salaam alaikum. Salaam alaikum. Come on in. Can you share it to our pages? Let's see here. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everybody. What's happening? See, Hind on the check in. Share to your page. My sister. You and your husband think y'all slick. You're trying to catch up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We just sharing this to our page, inshallah. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, she said, hold on. <laughs> Don't go away. My wife kind of slow. <laughs> Don't look at me. I felt you looking at me when I said that. You kind of slow. You admit that? Listen. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I'm going to end this. I got a watch party and it's messing me up. Your watch party's messing you up? Mm -hmm. What's happening? It's not allowing me to share it like I want to. Is it public? Yeah, it's public. Time I type in page, I don't see it. Your phone is a deviant. Mm -hmm. My wife kind of slow. <laughs> yes, yeah, sister. I, uh, I see you. Thank you for joining us. I hope I'm saying your name correctly. If not, please correct me. Share it to I I can't share it. I can't share it. Do it do it on a, from the browser. Oh, maybe don't let me add that up on the um, app. Yeah, when I try to share it to our page from the app, it don't work <laughs> right. So I do it from the browser. <laughs> Slow Lake sister Sakina. Yeah, he he wow. I'm not wild. She's the wild one. I had to tame her, you know. Now sometimes you got to tame these bents. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I'll get down like that. Hold on, let me do this thing. Hold on. Yeah, let's go back. Yeah, she's wild. No, I'm rough around the edges. Yeah, she's rough around the edges. I, I'm going to be real with y'all. I'm rough around the edges. <laughs> Take it how you think that was me. Mashallah. <laughs> uh, he said the phone is a deviant. Yep. He sure did. Yep. I'm going to give it three days. 
I'm going to get my full three days. You ain't going to give us salams for three days? <laughs> I'm not going to give it any attention for three days. Let me see if I can do it this time now. Look, I went to the thing and it says opening. No, I'll do it like this. Sometimes these sisters, man, I don't know, man. <laughs> He's teaching me how to use my phone. How do you do that? Like this. Understand, Habibi? Do it again. Okay, I am going to do it again. All right? Uh, no. Go to the bell. The bell? Mm-hmm. Uh, no, you don't do it like that. Oh. You got to find it on the wall. Mm. So you search for me. Go here. Oh, got you. Then share. Okay. Pay. Okay. By the way, your phone is trash. You ain't got nothing to say? Nope, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm dead lie. That's right, you man. I'm tamer. <laughs> <laughs> what did they used to call you in the hood back in the day, brother, you man? Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> No comment. Ah, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Why it look way different now? I don't know. I think it went to the app. Yeah. Yep. But it allowed me you to do it. Such a wife, you don't tame nothing. That's right. <laughs> Yo, Mally. Mally. Come get her, please. <laughs> he said, come get you. <laughs> oh. I'm dead lie. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Alhamdulillah. Okay. All right. Alhamdulillah. Now I know for next time. Alhamdulillah. As y'all can see, the topic this evening is part of the title. It's part of the well-known hadith. You ain't going to open up? You ain't going to just... I asked you to open... These sisters, man. <laughs> I got the itis. Alhamdulillah <laughs> everybody formally. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Now you talk. I'm looking for something. Uh uh, you hear? Alhamdulillah. We are back again. Alhamdulillah, as promised by Allah's permission. Um, Alhamdulillah, we made it through another week. If you're looking at this live, or if you uh, look at this live um, on YouTube once it's posted, thank Allah. Thank Allah for His many. Blessings and mercies, alhamdulillah. Um, death is all around us. I just seen like at least two, um, two deaths. I know it's plenty more, you know, out there, but this death is all around us. Nothing is promised to us. So make sure you give Allah His due. You know, thank Him. Um, if you did some things, you know, you're not, you know, proud of. Make tauba. You know, it's never too late to make tauba. Don't ever feel like it's it's over that's it you know the shaitan you know trick us to thinking that way and thinking that we dug ourselves into a hole that we can not get out of but that's a lie okay allah is most merciful we have to remember that mashallah um alhamdulillah uh here at mashid al mu'min we had a brunch a family brunch and you know in place of a family night that we usually have on third the Saturdays of the month. This is our first event in a minute. And alhamdulillah, it was a success. I have the itis. I apologize. Um, alhamdulillah, the food was beautiful. It was delicious. And alhamdulillah, the believers came out um, together. You know, despite the weather that we were supposed to have. Can't listen to the weatherman. The weatherman was making it like it was going to be like we're going to be ice skating outside, but it wasn't even it wasn't even like that. So. In Pittsburgh, you can't really pay too much attention to the weather because the weather forecast, the weather out here is very uh, er erratic here. Mm -hmm. So the the weather forecast, you know, 
could be off in either direction. Mm -hmm. They could say it's sunny and we get a blizzard. They could say it's a blizzard and we get sun (laughs) and everything in between. (laughs) Yeah. And it's weird like that. You know, I'm sure we all experience where, like, for example, you're playing outside when you're little and it's dry where you are, but it's raining across the street. Mm -hmm. That's normal out here. Mm-hmm. Like I'll be working in another part of town, and I call you, be like you see all that snow. You be like, what snow? <laughs> right. It just happened yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Subhanallah. I found for speaking. I had to block block a brother talking about I can't do public or speaking, making videos on social media. Wow, really? He's blocked all the strides our sister's been through. Salam, mashallah. <sighs> I know people. I don't know, mashallah. Um, you got the itis because you didn't leave one third of stomach for air. <laughs> 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 Believe it or not, I'm I'm sure you experienced this. Go ahead, lie, sister. Go no. ahead. No, when you cook, you're tasting as you cook. So by the time is you know excuse? when you go to That's, eat, uh-huh. you don't eat as much. And I didn't eat a lot, and I didn't actually eat, uh, finish all my food. So I am kind of I got the itis, but I didn't eat as much as I expected to eat. And it's not because the food wasn't good, but it was very, rather delicious. But I'm tired. I was I've been up early cooking, but mashallah, I'm not complaining. You didn't eat. He ate. Didn't eat ate. You didn't he eat ate. that much. That's what you say. <laughs> <laughs> and you cook, and the food was delicious. Yeah, the cook, the food was delicious, all of it. I'm not just talking about my food or whatever. Mm-hmm. But anyway, he's trying to um, buy time. I like trying to buy time. Yeah, you are trying to buy time. <laughs> but um, I don't know if uh, my sisters uh, experienced this with your husband when he's hungry. This one. Hush, me. hush. See, you and Khadija, y'all be snitching. <laughs> this one <laughs> turns into a cr- incredible hawk. No, he's, I don't. He be turning green. <laughs> no, I don't. I restrain myself <laughs> with a pious restraint. <laughs> If you're having this look, you know, when, he, when he's hungry, mashallah, he got hooked up. Alhamdulillah. What? Nothing. <laughs> Keep talking. Mashallah. I've looked for something. <laughs> he is a mess. But alhamdulillah. So a, a funny thing happened today. Um, the it man texted me and said, I have a topic. And I, and he told me what the topic was, what you see in the description. And I was like, subhanAllah, I thought about the same thing. It was just funny because we never discussed what we were going to speak about today. And it'd it be happening like that, that we'd be thinking about the same thing at the same time. Alhamdulillah, that's something special. You don't get yeah, to do... You we don't be get on the same page that. a lot. Yeah. You don't get to experience that with everybody. So Alhamdulillah, I'm fortunate to have that experience alhamdulillah so our topic for today is women are married for four reasons and we're going to enumerate and we're going to break down what that means oh that's what we're going to do yeah we're going to break it down i'm I'm hoping we will break it down (laughs) (laughs) and um have a discussion as you know, this platform, this is not about us preaching to you, lecturing you. This is a conversation. So if you have any uh, any thoughts that you would like to share, experiences you would like to share, why are you whispering? whistling? <laughs> Go ahead. Goodness. Um, please share it with us. Alhamdulillah. We welcome um, any input that you may have. And so, we waiting on you, Emil. You're not waiting on me. Go ahead. I, listen, they don't want to just hear me talk. They want to listen to you. Talk. Oh, any other time you. I told you I got the itis. Watch all up. Alhamdulillah. I just want to mention one thing before we get into the topic. Uh, uh, where we at? Oh. I said, can't take it either. Three seconds. Is it done? Is it done? <laughs> Yep. Well, hurry up. Exactly. Hurry up. Be dragging their feet. Yep. You know, another thing, when I be like, I'm getting ready to go to work, right? All right. Uh, can I have the food? All right. And she just sit there. And then when I leave, 
Where you going? The pool's ready. <laughs> No, but one thing I wanted to mention, and I think it's important, it actually has nothing to do with the topic, but mm -hmm. I think it's important that we try to keep each other informed. This election cycle, this election cycle, a lot of things have been happening. Some of you are informed, some of you are not informed. And so for, for those of you who are informed, you know, be patient with us. You know, there's a lot of people that are not informed. Mm -hmm. People have been, black people have been talking about getting reparations, recompense, payback for slavery since way before I was born. It's been a topic and there have been different groups, some groups more famous than others have been pushing for reparations because black people in this country as well as other countries, but we're not talking about other countries. We're in America, so we're talking about America. Mm -hmm. Black people have not only went through slavery, but even after being uh, so-called freed from physical bondage, many of our, uh, our ancestors were subjected to systematic forms of oppression and... Uh, not only oppression, but people can't understand why black Americans are in the situation that they're in. And they don't understand that there's been systems in place, legally and e illegal systems in place designed to keep us in these situations. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, you had what was called redlining where they will literally take a map with a red marker and draw boundaries around these different neighborhoods. And the black side of the neighborhood, you would never get approved for a loan or anything like this. And so you had that, for example. A lot of people don't understand that lynchings took place. It wasn't a big phenomenon during slavery. This stuff happened after slavery. Uh, and we can, for example, you had, especially in the southern states, when it was time to vote, they made these crazy laws that, uh, for example, they had the laws that you had to, uh, and some of these laws are still in the books, where you had to, for example, uh, when you go to register the vote, re register to vote, mm -hmm. if you couldn't recite the preamble to the Constitution from memory, they wouldn't register you to vote. Mm. And this is a blanket law, right? Mm. Right. But they had a grandfather clause. If your grandfather or great-grandfather was registered to vote, you exempted from that clause of reciting mm. the preamble to the Constitution to register to vote. Mm. No black, black people just came out of slavery. So their grandfathers couldn't vote. And so basically, the, the law basically said, if you didn't jump through these crazy hoops, I just gave you one example, mm -hmm. but if you didn't jump through these crazy hoops and, and you were white, it didn't matter. You registered to vote. And so black people were disenfranchised from the voting box. Mm -hmm. And we could go on and on and on, just different examples. And people, a lot of people don't understand why are we in this situation that we're in? They think it's just because we're just some lazy people. Yeah. Like, you know, because they believe the media, they believe the narrative. We're just some, some lazy. I just, my father just came here when I was younger. He has his own business. He's got a degree. He's this, he's that. What, what's your problem? Right. But they don't understand the systems that are in place in every sphere of human activity in this country designed to keep you like that. So, because of all of these systems that were in place and still are in place that are designed to keep our segment of society at the bottom, people have been uh, working for reparations. Like we need to be paid back. This is like, for example, if we play a Monopoly, the game Monopoly, mm -hmm. right? And we've been playing for a minute. And out of an accumulated boardwalk, park place, 
and all of these properties and reading railroad and I got all this stuff and you playing too, but I ain't let you get no money. You ain't got no property. You don't have nothing, but you in the game, right? Mm -hmm. And when it's your turn to roll the dice to move around, we're like, nah, nah, man, get out of here, man. You can't play, but you in the game though. Mm -hmm. And then after a while, after we've been playing for an hour, we say, oh, when, when you play Monopoly, how many, how much money you start off with? I forgot. Let's just say five hundred dollars, right? And then we say, okay, here's your five hundred dollars. Now, now you can, now you can join with us and play and roll the dice like everyone else. And then people say, like, why is this dude broke? He ain't got no property. He ain't got no houses on the property or nothing, mm -hmm. man. What's wrong with him? Right? You would say, well, it's not fair. He was sitting at the board, but y'all didn't let him roll the dice. Y'all didn't let him earn any money. And y'all just gave him money now. He mm -hmm. said, well, he started, he got started out with the same $500 the rest of us got started out with. What's his problem? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. And so people have been uh, arguing and fighting and organizing for reparations, like I said, way before I was born. But in this age of social media, certain people have uh, used their platforms to bring it to the forefront. Like all my time growing up, I never heard any presidential candidate even mention reparations on national TV. I never heard it growing up. I learned about these things after I became Muslim and I'm aware of what's going on. Mm -hmm. And so uh, basically people are like, listen, if you want black people to vote for you, you're going to have to give us black people from in America with this legacy behind us. You're going to have to come up or give us something tangible, right? You know, come into our churches or on our urban radio stations with hot sauce and talking about fried chicken is not going to cut it this time, mm -hmm. right? Because black people in this country, a lot of us, we just like to feel good or whatever. So we, you know, the presidential candidate will come dance, talk about some hot sauce or some fried chicken and stuff like this. And that used to work. But, you know, more people are waking up mm -hmm. because, you know, people recognize that yeah, we had a black president. We ain't really get nothing, <laughs> right? You even had some imams dancing in the street, right? He thought he, that was that was, was Imam Mahdi, right? <laughs> but in any case, right? So people are talking about res uh, reparations. Give us something tangible. You giving everyone else something tangible. Mm -hmm. All of the old laws that were passed in the sixties for you know because of the civil rights and the human rights movement everybody's benefiting off of those laws except the ones who those laws was written for they didn't they use vague terms like people of color minorities and so people when you when you don't specify black people or any other synonym african american what have you right mm -hmm. and you just make it broad people of color that includes yeah, people sorry. that ain't been here that, it, that wasn't here during slavery, that wasn't here, you know, through Jim Crow, redlining, you know, uh, corruption at the ballot box and all of these things, right? Mm -hmm. They didn't experience all of that. So that people of color, minority includes white women, right? Mm -hmm. All of these people are included in minority. They weren't part of the oppressed class. So the laws and, and ordinances and statutes that's been written for specifically for black people, everyone is benefiting except black people. And so people, a lot more people are becoming woke and more conscious of the game that's being run. And we say, no, 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 we're not going for it. You know, you pass laws and and uh, you you set aside, you know, uh, financial benefits for the LGBT community. Right. Mm -hmm. That they, they get singled out. They get special treatment. Right. But anytime a candidate is asked. What are you going to do for black for black people? They said, do something for black people. No, we do something for everyone. Mm -hmm. We're going to pass this law, criminal, you know, criminal justice reform, and it's going to adversely uh, affect and benefit black people. Mm -hmm. We can't, you know, I'm the president of all people, not just black people. Right. That, that's the game that they mm -hmm. run, right? But you pass laws specifically for other Groups. The groups of people, but when it mm -hmm. comes to black people, you can't, you know, I'm the president of all people, 
right? Can't find it. So a lot of black people are becoming aware. They up to the game, you know, they hip to the game. And it's usually a lot younger people, mm -hmm. like the 40 and under generation, right? And so a lot of them are like, listen, you know, you know, for as long as we've been, as long as we remember, can remember, we've been voting Democrat. And the Democrats are the same thing as the Republicans, except the Democrats smile at us hmm. and patronize us with chicken wings and hot sauce. Hmm. You know, but, the, but the end result is the same. And so we, unless you talk about doing something specific, for black people, not the minority game, not the people of color game, or any of those any any of those other vague terms, then we ain't voting. And so this is what a lot of people are saying. So now a lot of people are none of them are still talking about anything, but mm -hmm. they paying lip service to reparations. And they like they had a conference several months ago talking about HR forty. And a lot of us, we good at not reading the fine print. Mm -hmm. It's like I, I shared that post where somebody said that, you know, uh, for example, I'm selling apple pies between such and such time, such and such time. If anybody's interested, call me at such and such number. And, and they said, social media. Ooh, what time can I come get it? <laughs> oh, uh, I emailed you. Right, right, right. Well, how, nobody's answering. How, how can I get the apple pies? What kind of pies are you selling? All the information is in the stat, but, but this is how we are. And so people say, oh, they're going to pass the, the, the bill on reparations, H.R. 40. No, man, read the fine print. Mm -hmm. The law is talking, or the bill that they're talking about is talking about studying reparations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not talking about giving reparations. The studies have already been done by several people. Cut the check, right? <laughs> So I just want to let y'all know that this is one of the things that is going on, one of some of the things that are going on. And so, uh, you know, we are uniquely placed. And this is part of the reason why a lot of people are talking about getting given illegal immigrants the right to vote, because they recognize that the Democrats are not guaranteed the black vote like they used to, because mm -hmm. a lot of people are sitting out of these last few elections. Not just the midterm elections, the the the, the last one, mm -hmm. and they and they try to blame uh, a lot of people that try to run game. They try to blame black people for not coming out to vote. That's why we got President Trump. But when it, whenever you tell them, they say, "Hey, listen, the popular vote, even though the vote was close, the popular vote voted for Hillary. All right. It's the electoral college that voted for Trump. Mm -hmm. So why are you browbeating black people?" Or anybody for not coming out to vote. Right. And so. They are voting. And then when you ask. Being that we're on that topic of electoral college. And they vote. And what they vote for. Is the one who is. Who actually gets it. Mm -hmm. What's the purpose of going out to vote. Then you get the dumb look. And then you, then you get name called. And all that kind right. of stuff. Because they can't explain it. Exactly. But anyway. I just talked enough about that. I just wanted to. We, we, I like to not only talk about our topic and our subject, but I like to keep people uh, abreast of what's going on. 